Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So for today's reading, we are going to use the Archangel Animal Oracle cards. We're going to use the Magician deck and we're going to use Midnight Magic Mushroom deck. And so, which ones do we start with first? We start with the magicians. The animals are the energy that we're gonna embody and bring through. And then the mushrooms are kind of like, woo, underlying factors. So we got challenge of the gods. And all I heard was checkmate when that came through. Um, so I'm seeing Okay, I'm seeing a pawn. It should be a queen, but I'm hearing that someone's been feeling like a pawn. And I dropped one. What did I drop? We got the child card. So some children being used as pawns? I don't know, let's see. We got destruction. And let's do one more. With the Fate Taker. And under the deck, we have Mother Earth in reverse. Uh, what? Okay. So, Challenge of the Gods. I'm seeing two people possibly let's say it might be a divorce it might be a split up or something or using kids to their benefit and it's not beneficial it's very destructive it's take 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 energy because on this one i keep getting please sir can i have some more and like oliver twist wanting some more porridge and i don't even get that it's porridge it's just like gruel um But, let's see here. I really want to focus in on these three cards. So we've got Destruction, and this Destruction, Fate Taker, Challenge of the Gods. I don't know. I'm seeing someone play around with children, and I keep children are not to be played with. Children are magical, and yeah. So the energy... We'll, we'll find out the mushroom cards are going to bring more of this because as I look at this, I'm seeing, I'm just seeing someone use children. It's either like through a divorce and trying to get more or uh, trying to turn someone's kids against them or using kids in like as a pawn or a scheme or something. So as I shuffled the Archangel cards, um, the energy that it said to bring forward for the collective to bring forward is badger energy things it says bring life bring your life into balance archangel mary and sandal fawn and so mother or it says archangel mary that is mother mary and she is the mothering energy of jesus but then sandal fawn he's like the archangel that's like the earth it's the earth grid so something to do with the children and it's saying for you to like step up into your, your it's almost a fight energy it's badger energy nobody messes with the honey badger underneath the deck we had bear so there's two powerful animals coming through on this and this one says use power with wisdom so it's time to bring your life into balance there's been too much destruction and somebody taking way more than they deserve because they see things as a game. It's like, well, if I do this, then you owe me this or that or this. And this should be a queen pawn or a king. And as I heard it, it was like, would you bite the hand that feeds you? But I'm getting that this, this isn't a hand that feeds. This is a hand that takes. So... 
It's not that you're even giving substance or food or life or even practical wisdom. It's just draining. It's draining everybody. When I look up here, I see two, um, two jugs draining and, and it should be giving life, but it's just taking and uh, leaving children with less than they should have. So. Clarification on this, please. I'm hearing five. It seems like everything's really going smooth, but why, like, as I shuffle these cards, they're not choppy, it's not clumpy, it's quite smooth. So, like, you should, you will be able to bring your life into balance with whatever you're kind of going through. Okay. So before I, before I read these, um, let's move this up and these down. When I was rearranging my room today, I, I moved my table and I had two cards underneath and it was the snake card with the devil card. And I kind of like tapped into it and I was like, I feel like that's a little bit of the collective's energy lately that um, it seems like something's been tying them down or keeping them trapped or just draining them. It's exhausting. And, and if you've been watching the channel for a while and you're always doing your inner work, there was a point where things were ready to like take off. And then I, and all of a sudden the last couple of weeks, it felt like a stall or something happened, right? Things were going smoothly and the cards are very positive. But um, I felt like this now is kind of playing into it. I just put them over there, but let's read them. So when I see a snake, right, and snakes are, a lot of people are scared of snakes, but snakes regenerate. They let go and heal. They're known as healers. When you take the Archangel Raphael, he has the caduceus, and the caduceus is the two cobras that meet at the top and from the wand, and it's a healing symbol. So the snake says, your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. And what do you need to be careful of? Well, it's this devil energy. And this devil energy is that fate taker of whoever's causing destruction and using things as a pawn and not really being heart-centered and not thinking of the all and collectively, but only thinking about themselves and draining everyone's resources and leaving people in poverty. And so the devil energy says, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. So let's just uh, put these aside. And so the five that I did pull out, we had the moon in reverse. So the moon in the upright would be illusion, trickery, deceit, you not knowing what's going on but I think full well you know what's going on, that you've been in this chess game and uh, you, you're you at this point where you're ready to, hmm, it, you're ready to like, I'm hearing bulk up, like time to like get mad. I feel like you've been like really calm this whole time and you're like, it's okay, it's okay, all that sucks, that sucks. But whatever this is, is it's, it's not fair. And I don't want you to go out there and just be like, wah, and like destroy things and without a mindfulness. But I think you've seen so much injustice kind of happening, right? With this in reverse, you, you see extremely clear. And so that's the situation is you know exactly what's going on. You know exactly what you need to do. Um, but what you're doing to ask, or in this card is what are you doing that you're asked not to do? And it's the magician card. 
And so that's why I was like, oh, things will turn into your favor and things like that. But um, I feel like being overly optimistic that you can make things better in this situation actually only causes more harm because whoever this person is, that's the fate taker causing destruction. The more and more you keep justifying their actions, oh, they'll change, they'll this, they'll... I, I don't I don't see that happening in this energy and and the more that you kind of keep hoping for the best it, it almost gives them more time to take even more and so the card this is what you're asked to do is the ten of cups in reverse and it's like not not seeing things as that super happy rainbow that you're you're seeing things clearly right? You don't see that this toxic, poisonous, what was this one? Eastern jack-o'-lantern. You're not going to mistake it for chicken of the woods mushroom, which you can eat, but this one is not that. And so you can't keep pretending that you're in this super happy situation when it's not happy. And so what you're asked to do is, I don't know. I can't tell you what to do but I'll tell you what I think the cards are saying and you have all free will to do in yours but I feel like it's time for you to step into that honey badger energy and and as I heard when this one came out checkmate it's like you you know the, the move that you need to make and you know that it's going to stop this person you might have to cut them off from your life they might not be part of the family the happy situation anymore but um, at least, at least I'm seeing the joy, the life force, vitality of everything, the money, resources, um, everything. I'm seeing everything being depleted. And so the more and more that you keep letting this person access to it, the more and more the children suffer. And so I'm getting, I'm getting like angry bear come through and and it's not okay and it hasn't been okay for a while and and I know you kept thinking I'm a magician you know let's try let's try this way and then let's try this way and let's try this way and and it's just hasn't been working um in in all areas you are great at manifesting right when it comes to providing and creating and all these things but it, you can't do it when you're tied and associated to someone who is adamant on destruction. And so once you get rid of that, that underlying fate taking person who wants to play games, right? I'm seeing whatever it is, is it's just one big game to them. There's no heart energy in it. And so they don't, they don't feel this happy, loving, family, committed, fulfilled, embodiment they don't embody that their heart is not in it and so underlying factors that aren't known is we've got the kink the, the pink burn cup with the page of wands and so by destroying it by letting go of this false fantasy um right the, the burn, I'm seeing by burning everything, there's actually a ladybug there. And the ladybug is luck. Um, your luck will start to improve because I think that you've been going through things and you used to be really lucky. And it's like you had this dream or this goal and it's like you, you created it. And then all of a sudden, I don't, I don't know why it was faulty. Let me pull one card on why did the foundation, uh, it was just an attachment. It goes back to these cards. I got giver of gifts in reverse. There, it was never an equal exchange of energy in this relationship. This person would take, take, take and never give back to you. And you thought, well, if I give them the house and the car and, and all, all that they ask for, I buy them. If the, I don't know, I'm picturing like a guy, um, it could be any role, so fit it to your situation, but I'm just seeing as like a wife and you know, you buy them all, I'm going to buy them all fancy designer bags, which are like thousands and thousands of dollars. 
and never really being grateful for those kind of things and not even getting uh, the respect or thank you kind of back. And so the devil is take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. And so I do think that there was love from your part going forward. Um, did this person ever love the collective? Let's see their overall energy at the beginning. Because maybe at the beginning, but maybe things changed or I don't know. But it just seemed like the foundation cracked. And then from that, it, well, they were always a taker. And maybe looking past that, being like, I don't care. Like, that's just how they are. I love them that way. But now that things have matured and gotten older and things like that, it just seems like, um one has matured whereas one's still immature but let's just see at the beginning it just is saying we got glamour it's like uh kind of like falling for for the shiny outside um it might have been based on more looks than than having um common personalities or things in common um the conversation I hear always was about them. It was not really about you. And if it was you, it was always like, what could you do for me? And then when you could do something for them, that made them really happy. And when they were really happy, I get that this person was very seductive as well, right? They, they could make you feel like they... It was more lust rather than love. It was more all about the physical and what, what gifts could you give me kind of energy in this reading. And so if you had found yourself in a relationship like that, I'm really sorry to hear that it's very hard um, because it, it then becomes very codependent. And then when you stop giving to them, then they get really angry. And then that's when you see a new side of them. That was always them, but now it's coming out. And so, sneak. Your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. Because now, now it's turned into a game. Now it's like, well, if you're not going to give to me, what can I take from you? And so, that's hard because this is the one card that really bothers me. But I keep hearing that the kids have no idea that things are going on, that they're very happy in life, but um, they, they should have more. It should be more. There should be more joy. And, and all kids look at the world with rose-colored glasses, but I'm hearing like you wish you could do more for them, but it's like you, everything's being taken away. And so... The only reason why I brought in the devil card and the snake into this reading is once I pulled this out, by burning things away, you'll kind of go into that luck. And then that luck will bring you to the final outcome. And the final outcome was the devil in reverse. So this one said, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit um, and that you're on this new healing path. And so it looks like the final outcome is a positive outcome for that. Um, what do I, do I even have any questions or is that, that pretty much all that needed to be said? Um, no, there's so much more to be said. They keep saying, uh, so once the glamour kind of wore off, what do you want to talk about that? The fight. They want to talk a little bit about how you can manage and maintain not getting burned in this fight. That it's it's time to kind of burn all cords. That's what I'm seeing. Like burn everything down, which is all the cords and the attachments and, and getting things legally set up and, and protected. It's time for protection and the fire is protection. So, some information on that steps or process, and, 
I'm not, I'm not feeling hopeful, but there is hope. No matter what this has been, we got Luna in reverse again. It, it like you see things so clear. That's all that keeps coming out. We got Keeper of Justice. And so this card always makes me think, I, I do feel like this is a, a court battle or a divorce or something. But um, the Keeper of Justice, as I said, I didn't really feel any heart from them. But this always reminds me of Matt because there's that golden feather. And then the feather of truth needs to, your heart needs to weigh as much as the truth. And so by going into this, and as this one said, playing um, the burning cap, um, you are going to need to like take a stand and into this honey badger energy, but they don't want you to get vicious. They don't want you to just try to hurt someone just to hurt someone, right? Hurt people, hurt people, but you've got heart. How can you bring heart into this? So remember to keep your heart, stay heart centered and know that truth is more important. So I'm hearing documentation. Um, it's time to start um, keeping track or keeping records um, every time that there is something, because I feel like there's been so much in the past with this magician. Oh, we'll try this. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, this worked and, and no, that didn't work. And, and it's like you had so much evidence that you could have used, but you didn't use it because you were like thinking so optimistically that things were going to work out. But now, now you see clear and you see that you don't want things to work out, that there was never any real love. It was just, what can you give me? What can I get from you? Um, and so, um, keep, keep a record, they say, and and at least that, that will help you in those moments when you're enraged or when you need to like talk to someone that it doesn't become, well, she did, she did, she did. It's like, well, here's some proof, right? Like, I feel like you're the adult in this situation and you're dealing with someone who is um, unraveling. I'm getting a very immature, it almost is like by you not playing into what they want anymore. It's almost like they went back to like high school type mentality. And so things are starting to unravel. I feel like if you've already been in a divorce and this is a divorce battle, um, they may have had the upper hand for a while, um, especially if this is a female energy, right? They tend to choose like the kids towards that, but it's like, keep, keep your story. Only speak the truth. Don't try to do something just to hurt them. And I feel like whatever they say was lies and those lies are starting to unravel. And so once those unravel, there's going to be nothing left. And so from that will only be the truth. And so here's where your heart goes. And your heart will always be as light as a feather. Three more and then we can wrap it up, they say. We've got the wheel of fate. Things are changing. So if you've been in the destruction, the fate taker, the everything, um, I, I, I saw that ladybug again. It's like things are, are, are going to go in your favor. Things are starting to turn around and things are starting to unravel for them. And I'm hearing it's just hard. It's just like you wake up every day and you're like, I just don't want to fight. But they're saying like, keep the faith. Um, keep being that being of light. And what do I mean by that? Light workers are here to change the world. We're here to shine lights in uncomfortable situations. And so either you're a light worker or there's someone around you that brings a lot of light. And it's like, just, just keep that positive mindset. You can't keep thinking, oh no, like they're just saying, don't give up. And so the next one was the threshold guardian it was at the reverse what does this one want to say okay so when they showed me they showed me him shaking the hand and it said that there's somebody um this light being i think i think it's meant for you to stay positive in your mindset but there's also someone in your circle or around you that that kind of holds space 
for you in these times. And it's not that they're, they're not influencing any of your decisions, but what they do is they just hold a loving space for you. And they're saying to utilize these moments and these people because they'll be the ones that when you want to, when you really want to retaliate, you really want to fight. Um, they're the ones that are like love melts hate and you need to stay in your heart because there's children involved. <clears throat> and so as this went in, it said, you've already met someone and then went shroom. And then again, there's that unicorn and the unicorn hasn't been up in this breeding but the unicorn is been a guide that's been coming through strongly especially this last month last while and they're they're there to really help with your auric field where you have those tears and those rips um let's say you've been lashed at quite a lot and you feel like this it kind of like helps bring those pieces back together and so um they really help you deal with emotions that are trapped in your auric field and they really help I don't know I just keep hearing stay calm stay centered things are changing and and I've, I what I've heard is you've got them in checkmate that they've they've gone on this destructive bender and taking and taking for so long that their stories don't match up and it's un, unraveling and you've been consistent the whole time and so it's saying stay consistent by staying in your heart with your clear mind and and the wheel is turning things are turning in your favor and you will let go of this destructive cycle but there is a bit of loss you will have some loss and and it's like that dream it's that loss of that dream and i and i think that can be hard i do want to pull one for that I wanted like after you lost that there will be a new new one coming there's there's an equal you'll find your your love birds <laughs> and it says listen intently to understand and so it's like i that dream isn't really what you wanted and so to lose it, it it's sad and it's scary but um what do you really want what is your heart really saying and and what was it that you were really trying to build? Because I feel like as one was kind of building, the other one was kind of like throwing things out. So what is it if two were working on it that you wanted to build? Listen to that. And I'm hearing, listen to what the other is saying, if there's battle, because as again, their story doesn't match up. And so documentation. And so we had to end it off was that double in reverse. We'll read these two last and then we'll wrap it up. It says, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. You see clearly now, maybe you got tempted in the past and maybe you got deceived and lies and you were easily tricked or fooled, but now you're on this healing path. And it says your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path with the same rainbow happy moment, just not based on false illusions. And so it says, be careful. Just be careful in this, that you don't lose your anger and that you don't fight fire with fire, that you use your heart and your mind and your willpower through all of this. So we'll leave it there. I wish you luck and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.